Here's the printing and laminating process on the Zebra P640i printer. When a print job is sent, a card is sent from the card feeder under the sticky roller in the cleaning station. The card then moves to the print station. During its first pass through the print station, it is printed with barcodes and other details that are usually in black. This is how a typical card will look after the first print operation. Remember, it was the back side of the card that was face up at this point. After the first print operation, the card enters the flip station, which flips the card so that the front of the card faces up. The card is backed up for another pass under the cleaning station. Then it goes to the print station for the color printing. The used black panel of the color ribbon is spooled out of the way, bringing the yellow panel under the print head. In the printing action that follows, the ribbon moves in sync with the card, allowing the heated print head to print each of the three colors onto the card. The fully printed card then enters the flip station again, but this time it doesn't get flipped. Instead, it is lifted up to the laminating station and pushed gently by the ejector arm into the laminate station. Clear laminate film that has been pre-cut to length is fed from each cassette and then transferred to the card surface. The cut piece of laminate is referred to as a patch. The card, now with laminate patches applied to the top and bottom, passes slowly through a pair of heated rollers which permanently bond the patches to the card. After the laminating is complete, the card is fed out of the printer into the outward hopper. If the cover is open while the printer is operating, a safety switch will stop the printer. After closing the cover, the printer will recalibrate for a few minutes to make sure that everything is in place before continuing. For other service questions, call Rayco Card Solutions at 1-866-940-RAYCO or visit us on the web at www.raycocard.com.